A written record is considered some of the gold standard of written records when it comes to ancient history. Um, they, they, when they first tested carbon dating, they, Egypt was one of the places they did it because they had such robust written records. But Zahi Awas and the rest of his crew, they, they disregard this and they have the old wood hypothesis. Uh, the Egyptians, they burnt a bunch of wood that was way older, and that's why all the carbon that they've tested is old. Because they're, they're not testing the stone, I'm sure most of you know, they, they test ash that's in the mortar between the courses of masonry. So the idea that they built all this, all this old wood, they burnt it all and they made all their ash at one time. So this is an excuse. This, I, I compare it a lot to, uh, to a religious person because if you're holding it, you've got hard data and you've got a written record and you choose the written record over the hard data, you, you can't really call this science, my friend. This is, this is steering out of there. But they will maintain to the bitter end that this is, this is what it is. And again, I'll take you back. This is, again, very much like a religion. Well, you, you can't understand what you're, what you're reading. Unless you're like well-versed in the Bible, you can't really understand what carbon dating is. This isn't science. I mean, you can believe whatever you want, but that's not science anymore. Now you're being religious. This is why we use so many people, because lots of different spiritual beliefs exist. When they all overlap and see the same thing, that's when it's actually science. At that, before that, we're, we're just guessing.